Hello, my name is Mike Whitehouse. I'm a senior sailing instructor with the Canadian Yachting Association. And today I'm going to show you how to create a route using the Fagawi navigational software. So I'm going to take my mouse down or pointer down to the bottom of the tray icon here and uh, start Fagawi. Uh, this is the Fagawi ENC Marine. Uh, it opens with the chart that I closed or exited uh, from the program with, which was chart 4237 approaches to Halifax Harbor. I'm zoomed in right now, so I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click zoom out and uh, I'll click zoom out again. And I already have the hand selected, so I can uh, click and hold down my left mouse button and I can actually drag the chart around. So I'm going to drag it, drag it uh, to this point and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to zoom in one click. Uh, before I start the exercise. So what I want to do is I want to create a route and I go over to the uh, left hand uh, tray icons here and I see one that says RTE. It's two waypoints with a line adjoining them which is the Fagawi symbol for route and you'll notice that this uh, icon has a little drop down arrow to the right of it. I'm going to click on that and I get two choices, either edit root points or draw root. I'm going to click on the draw root and you'll notice that my mouse pointer is changed to a pencil with a little um, line, root line underneath the pencil and that is Fagawi's pointer indicating that you are in the draw root mode. I'll go up and I'll start my route um, just uh, east of Mars Rock here and I start the route by uh, left clicking on the mouse once. When I left click, you'll notice that two things happen. Uh, the first is that a little uh, waypoint appears here and that it is automatically named 001. And the second thing that happens is that I get a dialog box in the upper right hand side of the screen, um, which is the root drawing root di dialog. Uh, you can put the name in here. <coughs> um, and you can also choose from uh, one or two, one of two radio buttons. And uh, the default is draw, and that is what we want. So we'll leave that as it is, and we'll come back to it to name the route when we are finished uh, drawing the route. So I come back <coughs> to 001, and then I'm moving out the harbor. And so I'm going to have a turning point between these two boys here. So when I get to my turning point, I left click again. And you'll see that two things happen again. I get a second waypoint that's automatically named 002, and that a line is joined between waypoint 1 and waypoint 2. I'll move uh, out the harbor a little further to the next uh, turning point, and I'll left click again, and you can see that I've got uh, waypoint number 3, or turning point uh, number 3 there. So I want to move further down the uh, uh, harbor. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll select the hand again up here and I'll come back and I'll hold down my left mouse button and uh, move my mouse up which in turn will drag the chart up and then I'll go back and select the root icon again and I'll come back out to this boy here which is Halifax Charlie. It's a fairway boy and I'll left click again and I'm going to go around this boy I'll move over here, left click again for waypoint number five, and I'll come up and I'm going to finish um, this route just south of this south cardinal boy uh, here. And I'm going to left click, and that will put in waypoint number six. So uh, I'll now select the hand again, and I'll zoom out once so we can see the whole route. And um, what I'll do now is I'll go over to the route. Um, dialog box up here and I'll click in that box where it says new route and I'll highlight new route and hit the delete button on my keyboard uh, or you can just uh, put the cursor in there and you can backspace like this and then put in the name of your new route and I'm going to call it uh, test route number one and when that is done you simply click on the done button and uh, your route has been saved. I'll select the hand again and I'll come back up here uh, and 
to the tray icons on top and you'll notice that when you come up to that uh, it will say display root library so and it also has the root uh, symbol on it the Fugawi root symbol on it so you left click that and you'll notice that a dialog box will open and in that dialog box uh, is highlighted test root number one it's the root that we just created and you can see that it has six waypoints and that the di total distance for that route is 6.6 .6 nautical miles and that it is listed as being being visible which means that we can see the route now if you were to right click on this blue area here of test route number one you would get some choices and if you slid your mouse down till you got to the word hide and then left clicked on hide you can see that the root um, went invisible. It's still there, but it's no longer visible on the chart. If I want to bring it back up again, I highlight the name of the root, right click, and then come down and left click on show, and you can see that the root uh, shows again. Now, another interesting thing is if I go to the uh, test root number one and I double click, click twice on the left mouse button. Uh, something interesting happens. I get this uh, new dialog box here, and the new dialog box uh, shows you all of the six waypoints. It gives you the position, the latitude and longitude of each of the waypoint, and it gives you the course in degrees true uh, to each boy and also the distance between the boys. Uh, you can change these um, uh, bearings, for, for example, from true to magnetic. Uh, in the default settings, um, which we will um, cover in another lesson. But uh, we'll close that out now that you've seen um, where uh, the latitude and longitude of each waypoint is. And uh, we'll close out uh, the root library also. So that is our lesson on creating a root in Fagawi. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. And uh, we'll see you again at um, another one of our lessons. Thank you very much. This is Mike Whitehouse saying goodbye.